Hello, I am Brad from Old Connor of this year's 2003 Festival 2015. I am joined with Mike Bernard. How are you doing? All right. I'm very well. How it's are not you? so much emphasis on the art, to be honest. Oh, it's right. more sort of Venn art, to be honest. Oh, sorry. It makes it sound a little bit more exotic than it actually is, <laughs> okay. to be honest. Okay, cool. So, how are you enjoying your 2003 Festival? Um, the five or six minutes that I've been here have been absolutely oh, have one of here? the best five or six minutes I've ever had. <laughs> no, it's lovely. Uh, sun's out, kind of. And. Uh, it's a nice place, man. I like that, that everybody's camping actually within, you know, the thick of it kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, it's, it's a really lovely. like close knit festival. Isn't it, it is. I, I do like it so far. Yeah, it's watch really some cool. bands. So obviously your old band Ocean Size broke up in 2010. Yep. What's it like to look back on what you achieved with that band? <laughs> uh, good. Yeah, it feels great. I mean, like most days, I, 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 I sit down and reminisce <laughs> about all the amazing things that I achieved. Yeah. In that band. No, I don't. Um, yeah, it feels good. Um, yeah. We were a, we were a good band, and it was good fun. And yeah, yeah I, I really enjoyed it. Yeah, oh, good. but so, you know, like four albums, it was it was enough. Yeah. <laughs> so where did the idea for your solo album come from, and what was it like writing your solo stuff as opposed to writing Ocean Size? Uh, that was a bit more tricky. O Ocean Size was a really collaborative uh, collective. You know, we we all put a lot of work in. So to sort of go back to being on my own, I, in fact I couldn't even manage to do it on my own right, as I soon realised, so I ended up getting a bit of help from Steve DeRose out of Oceanside, yeah. he's with me now. And yeah, it, it, it really worked out, it was, it was a long process, but you know, I had a lot of shit to deal with in the meantime, yeah. so it was cool, yeah, I'm yeah. happy. I really love it, I love it. So oh, thank yeah, you. Right. Awesome. So, you have a side project called British Theatre, I do, I... how did this come about? Oh, that's a long one. Uh, basically, as soon as Ocean Size broke up and they, we were making the announcement, we knew we were going to do something, but we couldn't think of a name. So literally the day before we announced it, we just had to think of any old bloody name. So we went with that, and it's we've, the couple of EPs that we've put out, uh, uh, we've kind of discarded them already. We're not. We're, we're, we're going to start playing in August for Arc Tangent, yeah. and uh, we've kind of already. Yeah, it's quite different to what, what we've done before. So I think that in order to sort of determine what British theatre was going to be, we had to do this uh, rock album first yeah. to then decide to not make British theatre a guitar thing. So it should be fun. I mean, I look forward to finding out what it's going yeah. to be like myself, you know. Okay, cool. <laughs> that sounds interesting. So I love the hard hitting yet soft electronics on the Demon Joke. What inspired you to take this style? Um, I think, I don't know, for the most part, the, the, by, by nature of the fact that I record alone with a, just a laptop computer, I yeah. think that you're hard pushed to not delve into that kind of realm. And, yeah. you know, I, I'm no longer sort of scared of synthesizers. I wouldn't have known what to do with one before, but, I'm, you know, it's just texture. Everybody loves a bit of texture. Yeah. So that's, that's, it's just dicking around, it's, you know, you call it experimenting. To me, it's just having a bit of fun, you know. Um, Nothing's nothing's out of the question really, except for a dominant seventh chord. Maybe a flat thirteen can't really. I've tried. I can't really elbow them in any way, to be honest. <laughs> so, has having experience in the music industry with previous projects helped your solo career? How's it helped? Yeah. <laughs> it hasn't. Has it not? <laughs> no, you know that's bullshit. That's out of order. Um, the, we we put this album out on pledge, yeah. and that was just a really really magical. Uh, thing to happen because it was really really successful I didn't yeah. sort of take for granted that um, people were going to be interested but the only reason they were interested is because of what I'd done before yeah. so in that respect yeah the the industry if you if you want to call it that has been very kind to me I can't complain about that awesome. I just don't really feel like I'm part of it to be honest really? but it's fine <laughs> yeah. so what's been your best moment so far for your um, for, every... for everything really? I'd, I'd, well I play with Biffy now and, and a lot that of the gigs awesome. I play with them is just absolutely <laughs> stunning we did some gigs at the Barrowlands in December playing all the really old yeah. stuff and I just it's fucking just again just magical just didn't didn't really think that I'd ever get to hear them play them yeah. songs again so to be actually playing them was just total freak show man was it was really awesome. good so do you have any plans for a tour after 2003 I think we're gonna do some stuff in November um, just sort of settling all that up but it won't be a right lot I just there's not I, I don't know I've no great hankerings to be in a van for weeks on end anymore so yeah, but the gigs that we are doing, you know, we've done we've done a bunch of them now, and it's been really, really nice. Yeah. You know, I think there's a lot of curiosity 
you know, seeing if it's going to live up to what it was before. And people seem to go away not disappointed, which is about yeah. the best you can hope for, <laughs> really, you know. So, yeah, we we'll look forward to that. So, describe a live performance from yourself in three words. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> no, I, don't, I haven't had any coffee yet, so I've got no... <laughs> No chat for you like that, I'm afraid. You're going to enjoy this one, and we have a lucky dip question at the end of every right, interview. Right, right. So What's your pick... favourite cheese? That's what's coming, isn't it? <laughs> no, well, it might be. Don't know. Some are serious, some are silly. Right. You can pick A, B, or C. B. If you had to pick two celebrities to be your parents, who would they be and why? Fuck. Uh, Wayne Coyne and Bjork. Like they're, they're not they're, they're celebrity singers, I know, but I don't really operate in the <laughs> in the in the celebrity realm. I don't know who anybody is. Yeah. I just know about bands and stuff. Awesome. It. So it's been an absolute pleasure speaking to you. Thank, Thank you. you. So Thanks much. for having us. Thanks very much. Cheers. Take care.